This video is on ratio reasoning, converting units of measure. Twelve inches is equal to one foot. That's a typical ruler. And we know that three rulers, or three feet, is equal to one yard. We could therefore say that three times twelve inches would be 36 inches. 36 inches is equal to 3 feet, which is equal to 1 yard. So what if we had the problem, how many feet are in 4 yards? So you're going to use what you know. 12 inches equals 1 foot, and 3 feet equals 1 yard. You're going to set up the ratio in the same units of measure, feet to yards, because you're looking for how many feet are in four yards. Three feet over one yard is equal to x feet over four yards. When you cross multiply, you can solve for the unknown. So x equals four times three, so the number of feet in four yards is 12. How many inches are in 4 yards? So you set up the ratio, you know that 3 feet equals 1 yard, and you know, or you're looking for how many inches are in yards. Well, you're going to need to convert feet to, to inches because you want the ratio to be in the same units of measure. There are 12 inches per foot, so 12 inches times 3 means there's 36 inches in 1 yard. Now you have the same units of measure in your ratio, and you can, again, use cross-multiplication to solve for the unknown in inches. Let's look at time. We know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. We know that 24 hours equals one day. So how many minutes are in three days? Let's use a ratio to find out. We're going to use what we know. And again, we want to set up our ratio in the same units of measure. Well, we know that 24 hours equals a equals one day, but we're trying to find the number of minutes per day. So there are 60 minutes in each hour, therefore in 24 hours, there is 60 times 24, 1,440 1, minutes in one day. Once we have the number of minutes, we now have a ratio set up that uh, has the same units of measure. So again, we use cross multiplication and we know how many minutes are in three days. Well, it's 1,440 times three, or 4,320 minutes. We have one cup equals eight fluid ounces. And we know that two cups equals one pint. So the question is, how many fluid ounces are in four pints? We're going to set up our ratio, and we're going to use what we know. We know that two cups equals one pint. So we got the pints in the denominator. That makes sense. But now we have to convert two cups to fluid ounces. So there are eight fluid ounces per cup. And eight times two, there are 16 fluid ounces per pint. Once we have our ratio in the same units of measure, ounces to pints, we can solve for the number of ounces in four pints. X ounces equals 16 times four. There are 64 fluid ounces in four pints. Okay, 
That ends this little introductory video on using ratios to convert units of measure. It can get sometimes complicated because you may have to do more than one conversion to get to the ratio that you're actually looking for in terms of using the same units of measure. Enjoy the activity. It does get harder. Uh, it goes from easy to hard, but give it a try.